My name is Liesl Carlson and I work with the Lansing School District in Lansing, Michigan. I'm currently an MTPS coach with the AIR pilot. Prior to being an MTP coach, I've been an instructional and data coach from pre-K through 12. And in Lansing, we've had a um, teacher process data collection using the class tool since 2012. Well, I currently coach four teachers at Eastern High School. Um, they are both, uh, some are English teachers and some are math teachers of all different levels between seventh and 12th grade. Um, I love getting a chance to work with high school teachers on their practice. Um, what it looks like to be a coach is uh, teachers record a 30 minute video of themselves focused on specific class dimensions and then I watch that video looking specifically for examples of them effectively um, implementing that practice. Then I send those clips to teachers through a secure platform. They're able to watch the video and respond to prompts that direct their focus specifically towards their actions, their successes, and the interaction between themselves and the students. Once we have responses to prompts, we then schedule an in-person conference, which lasts a half an hour. And at that time, we review um, their successes with the lesson, um, work through some challenges, think about what, how they will continue to utilize this practice um, moving forward and how they can transfer it to their other classes. We then move on to planning what their next cycle will look like. So we co-plan that with the specific class dimensions in mind. After that point, um, I send them a summary and action plan, and then we move into the next cycle where they record themselves with a lesson. So it's ongoing, job-embedded, professional learning, really focused on what their next learning is. So I think that interactions matter. So interactions between myself as the coach and the teachers and seeing that um, focus on the class as well as the trusting supportive relationship that we have transferring over to classroom interactions um, and really seeing them see themselves in a different light because they're seeing themselves doing things. They are practicing new things and they're finding success and replicating it. And that feels empowering and supportive to teachers when they see themselves having success. Um, so it's, it's, um, it's been an amazing process. So my biggest challenge as a coach is probably balancing time between some of my other um, work responsibilities and projects and thinking about ensuring that I carve out the sufficient amount of time to support those coachees. They've really been very positive about it and I I think at the beginning, they were unsure. They didn't know what it would be like. And when you hear that you're going to be videoing yourself teaching, I could imagine that it would cause anyone um, a little pause. But I think after that first cycle where they were able to see that um, those videos were of them having success, it just built on itself and they've never expressed that that was a challenge. Um, I think that uh, another real success is just that kind of relational trust that comes from, from having a coaching relationship with a teacher because really everyone can benefit from having a coach. So I think one of the goals 
of MTP is to build in the teacher um, that ability to be more self-reflective, to be an observer of their own practice. I have seen growth in that area as well as um, a greater understanding of the class dimensions and how they interact um, within the framework of class um, and then what that looks like in practice in their classroom. So as part of um, the My Teaching Partner model, it, um, we like to call it a parallel process with the class, and that is that as a coach, I also have a coach, and she helps to guide me through that learning of the model and deepening my knowledge around the class framework. Um, I meet with her twice a month, sometimes individually and sometimes with other coachy or coaches at different sites, and we go over different aspects of the MTP model. I think that the class framework really comes alive in this individual coaching model. It's a way that, especially in the secondary, you can see that by focusing in with one teacher, they have a huge impact on a large number of students. Um, it is an opportunity for, for teachers really to develop a reflective practice that is based on a research-based framework. So it's doing the things that we know are important with interactions around content. Um, and impacts around continuing to empower teachers to have that growth mindset and continue to learn. I think it does a lot for teacher morale and their own self-efficacy. I would encourage them to investigate being an MTP coach. I think that um, the class framework, the process of MTP has helped me develop as a more reflective practitioner myself and in a way that I can support teachers in a deeper way than I could before. Um, it has helped me to really know how to look for the most effective interactions between teachers and students, be able to highlight those and help teachers direct their attention in that way. Um, I've become a better questioner, asking them questions and prompts that really gets to the essence of the instructional moves that benefit kids most. So the class MTP is a little different than other coaching models I had been familiar with before. And I think that there are a couple of strengths that set it apart from other models. And one is that it's based on the class framework that is research-based and has a long record of um, really <clears throat> framing those instructional interactions that have impacts on student learning. The other main way that I find it to be different and effective is its use of video. And the use of video is powerful in this model because it directs teachers towards an effective interaction that they're having with students that is impacting students positively and impacting their learning with the intent that if they see themselves doing it, they can replicate that very same practice again and again and build on it. As class really enhances content, when we're thinking about um, district level priorities. One of our goals district wide has been to increase and enhance the opportunities for students' voices and learning, which di directly relates to um, some of the dimensions we see in the class framework, and that is through quality of feedback and regard for student perspective. And so teachers have felt very reinforced in that piece. 
Um, while MTP supports any kind of curricular adoption, it's not specifically content focused. It's really the how we would support that curriculum. So students at first have some fun with having a video camera in their classroom, but soon they, they get used to having the iPod filming them. What I do notice is that through the teacher's work with my teaching partner, students are gaining greater opportunities to have peer dialogues, to do group work, to have more freedom of movement. Teachers are trusting students more, and that's impacting the student experience. So in order to be a My Teaching Partner Secondary Coach, there are professional learning that happens before the school year starts. First, there is learning about the class framework and a training that is involved. After you learn about the class framework for quality interactions, you then are trained in the MTP model. So all of this training is about five days. But then you're supported all year long by your own coach and you'll have uh, monthly calls with that coach as well as support with other MTP coaches that can help you answer questions that you have and support deeper learning around different parts of both the MTP coaching cycle and the class framework.